Usually, of course, a life or death situation when people call 911. And now some rescue squads are equipped with some high-tech equipment that used to only be found in the emergency room. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us now. And Monica, this is a partnership that is literally saving lives. It really is, Chris and Russ. It's not easy to get voters to pass levies or tax increases nowadays. So when fire departments need new equipment, they're using some creative thinking. That means writing grants or, in the case of Richmond Heights, partnering with a hospital system to get the latest life-saving equipment. Paramedic Dominic Silvestro is essentially the eyes and hands of a doctor in the field. Now he has high-tech tools usually only found in a hospital. Inside this squad is nearly $100,000 worth of life-saving equipment that didn't cost the taxpayers a dime. That's because this fire department has a partnership with university hospitals. The partnership recently provided four pieces of equipment that make a huge difference. The InfraScanner is a portable CAT scan, a device that lets EMS know if a patient is suffering a stroke or a brain bleed. It will delay the time it takes for that signal to get back to the second prong, thereby telling us that we have the possibility of blood in that area of the brain. ELSA is a portable translator. Right now it's putting me in touch with a Spanish interpreter. Priceless with non speaking patients. Uh, within 60 seconds, we have a live interpreter. Um, the company has a list of 180 different languages. This high-tech heart monitor measures the heart output and gives the medic information usually only available in the emergency room. The benefit? It's going to lessen her hospital stay. Finally, there's Lucas, a device that automatically performs CPR, freeing up the medic to do other things. And at the end of the day, we're the ones uh, that get the 911 call and take care of the citizens. Now we we can put this emergency room technology in the hands of our first responders. It's truly a privilege to be the first in the country to have that technology. And University Hospitals Med Command works with 84 different fire and EMS services in nine counties and about 200 different ambulances. The hospital partnerships are unique to this area and perhaps may become a national model elsewhere. Chris? Wow, it really is incredible to see the technology that is going out into the field. All right, thank you, Monica. If you